I am Gerald Farley for this Infocast 5-minute tutorial on how to set up an external monitor to your Mac. Firstly, I would like to introduce this topic. Many of you may want to actually take something, uh, an external screen, and plug it into your Mac so that you can see what is going on on your Mac's computer. This will work if you have a laptop, and any version of Mac OS will work. Now most Macs, uh, that's excluding of course the MacBook Pro, most MacBooks would not come with a standard VGA port. So you will need to buy one of the things that I'm showing you on the camera. They do not normally cost much, so I suggest that if you want to um, connect up an external screen, you do that. Buy one of those. Once you've done that, plug in the VGA as shown. Then follow the instructions that I give you. First of all, go into your system preferences by clicking on the Apple sign up in the top right hand corner. Click on System Preferences. Then, under the system preferences, you want to click on the thing that says displays. Now, it will show you list. Select what kind of thing you want. It will give you a couple of options. If you have a widescreen, then choose 1280 by 800. If you have a smaller screen, then choose something a bit smaller. Though I suggest that unless you have a stretch monitor, you don't click on the stretch versions. If you want to detect the display, you press detect, detect displays. When it comes to color, you can adjust that. It's a color LCD. You can also calibrate the color. In my case, I have an X223W connected. Right now, the refresh rate will be a 75 hertz. Though you, it's recommended that you have 75 hertz, you can select any one of the ones that aren't in gray. The rotation is standard. Unless you have a screen that you intend to turn sideways or upside down, then do not click on 90, 180, or 270. Then, if you want it to work properly, you would want to use the best resolution and then go into Arrangement. Under Arrangement, more than likely, this will not be ticked off. So, what you have to do is press this little check mark here that will say Mirror Displays. Otherwise, things will look very much different it will be a side-by-side -side comparison of your actual Mac. So you want to click on mirror displays unless you have some kind of an arrangement of several screens. You can also change the color here by calibrating it. Once all of that is done, you will see a few moments of a blue screen and everything will show up in the order you want it to. And that's is how to set up an external monitor to your computer. Thank you. I'm Joel for InfoCast 5-Minute Tutorials and InfoCast News, and we hope that you enjoyed this tutorial.